A Cumberland County health care worker says she is being fired after refusing to get the COVID-19 vaccine. The 26 year old woman says her employer is requiring the vaccine in an effort to prevent the spread of COVID-19. As Fox 43's Grace Griffin introduces us to the woman who says she isn't anti-vaccination. She just wants more time to decide if it's best for her body. I could go sit in person with my doctor and talk to my doctor. Um, I, I mean, if I was given six months to decide. The 26 year old Desiree Pelletier says she only had 30 days to decide if she would get a COVID-19 vaccine after it became a requirement by her employer, Hempfield Behavioral Health. I love the job. Um, it was very rewarding, but I had to sit down with myself and think, you know, I don't feel that's right. Is that is this job worth doing something that I don't feel that is right? She says she's concerned because the vaccines are authorized for emergency use and because she wants to become pregnant. So she called her doctor. He also said he thought that it should be my choice. I was like a mess uh, the whole time I had to make this decision, like physically sick because I was thinking, you know, should I just get it so I have a job, so I have insurance? Ultimately, Pelletier's beliefs outweighed the new requirement. She received this suspension letter stating she had 30 days to provide proof of, at minimum, receiving the first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. She's now at the 30-day mark and termination is imminent. I don't understand why I couldn't sit here and Zoom unvaccinated to, vac to participants. Um, I didn't understand why I couldn't be on the property with a mask on. She's not alone in refusing. They suspended me and we're doing Zoom meetings right now. And there's no reason that I cannot work. I loved it. Like it was my dream job. We contacted Hemfield Behavioral Health for comment. So far, we have not received a response. The suspension letter discusses why the vaccine is being required. Because Pelletier works with people who are, quote, at high risk of becoming severely ill or dying if they contract COVID-19, and many will not be able to receive the vaccine because of valid medical conditions. It comes to state lawmakers debate proposed legislation that centers around the right to refuse a COVID-19 vaccine. Doctors call that a serious public health concern. I have seen a world without vaccines. We have all seen a world without vaccines, and there should be no debate about their value and necessity. Grace Griffithson, Fox 43 News.